The need to transition to a net zero economy is here. It's not just regulation or policymakers that are pushing us there. It's not just the, the need of a society for change that is driving that change. I think it's a whole combination of that and an urgent need to face reality. If we're in a recession, we have to reduce emissions. If we have a pandemic, we have to reduce emissions. If we have an energy crisis, we have to reduce emissions. If we're booming as an economy, we have to reduce emissions. So climate policy has to transcend those short-term fluctuations in the economy. Every sector of the global economy is going to have to transition to net zero. That's going to require a huge amount of capital, a huge amount of investment. So we'll be looking at agriculture, shipping, and the power sector. And the idea is that each time we do these forums, we'll be looking at different sectors. We'll be deep diving into those sectors, trying to understand their different potential transition pathways. We think that the key catalyst for the transformation of our food systems is going to revolve around the restoration of agricultural land. And specifically, that means returning the equivalent of 1 billion hectares of land back to nature. We think the transition to new food systems will unlock 1.5 trillion US dollars in new markets by 2030. Investors are recognizing the need to finance the net zero transition. So finance the high emitting companies as they're moving towards a net zero future. We believe that uh, companies that are better aligned to the transition in a high emitting sector like shipping are likely to capture some degree of market share as the transition accelerates. If anything, uh, renewable energies are now feeding money into the market rather than taking money out of the market. So the higher prices we now have are accelerating uh, the, the sort of the economic attractiveness of renewables. The number of processes which were in the past uh, run by fossil fuels are going to be substituted by electricity. And this is not only because we want to reach a net zero world as quickly as possible, but because it makes economic sense. Investors are a very pragmatic crowd. They look at markets, they look at risk, and they look at opportunities. And money will shift with this understanding. We need data, we need knowledge, we need real scientific-based analysis. And most importantly, we need to share that knowledge.